Hey there, and welcome back. So at this point, we know we need to create a new website, and now we've figured out what platform we're going to use to build this new website. Now it's time to figure out what we need for this new site. This is a crucial step because taking time now to start to plan the new website will save us a ton of time and headaches once we actually get to the building phase. So don't skip this part of the process. In this video, we'll walk you through what you're going to need to have as we create a plan for your new website. Before we get started, if you wanna see the rest of the videos in this series, as well as more videos on websites, web design, digital marketing, e-commerce, WordPress, and other website related topics, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the ring the bell for notification. Now, let's get started. Failing to plan is planning to fail. That's what Benjamin Franklin once said, or so they say. And you're going to need to create a plan for your new website before you start. Otherwise, you're going to fall on your face. We're going to talk about this more two videos from now, but start thinking about your plan for the website. Figure out what you want and need this website to do to help your business. Then ask questions about your business. Take stock of where your business is and where you want it to be. What can you spend? How quickly do you need this website? What are your goals for your business? And how will this website help your business reach those goals? From there, you can create a great plan for your new website that will set you up for success. Again, if this seems complicated and confusing right now, don't worry. We'll go over over all of this in a couple videos so you know exactly what you're doing. But even if you write down a super simple plan, you're going to be well ahead of the game when it comes to either creating the website yourself or hiring someone else to create it. Something else that you're going to need for your website is content. This is something that tends to be forgotten about until the last minute. It can throw a wrench into the schedule of creating a new website. So don't be that person. Start thinking about what content you're going to need for your website right now. We'll go over this more specifically in the next video, but it never hurts to start right now. Think about what you'll need for your homepage, about page, team page, contact page, and other pages you might need on your website. If you're going to be selling products, start to create a list of products so that you can create content for each product page. Even if you just create a list of content that needs to be created, you're already ahead of the game. So just make sure that you don't forget about the content. I mean, how else will you convince people to work with you or buy your product? You're likely going to be tempted to see if you can just build the website yourself. I mean, how many advertisements have you seen or heard that make it sound like it's an easy thing anyone can do? But it's a bit more complicated than that. We'll dive into this specifically in a few videos, but this could be either a good or bad idea. If you know enough about web design and websites and might be tight on cash, it really might be a good idea. But if you have no idea what you're doing, it's going to be a bad idea. So now is a good time to figure out what you do and don't know about websites. Do you truly know how to create a website that's going to be successful? Do you know about web design, e-commerce, calls to action, digital marketing, and more? Hold off on making that decision until we discuss it further, but take the time now to figure out what you do and don't know. Next, you need to know what you want this website to do. Is it going to help your business by selling products online? Or will it be there to help people learn that your business exists? Will you want to create a membership website where people pay to see the content you create? Or do you want to create a community around what you do online? Knowing what your website needs to do will help you define what type of website you need to create as well as determine the end price for the website. And that will make it so much easier for everyone else involved in the process. Another thing you need to know is what you can spend on this website. That will dictate what you can do with the website. It will decide how complex your website is and what you can do with your website, either online store, custom website design, forms, membership website, and so on. It will also help you narrow down your search for finding an agency or developer to create your website, as you can cross off those that give you a quote outside of your budget range. So before you start creating your website, make sure you know what your budget is for your website. Finally, you're going to need to pack your patience when it comes to creating this new website. That's just the way these things go. Even if you have everything for your developer, it's still going to take some time for the website to go live. I tell potential clients that a custom website will take a minimum of three months to build. There's just a lot that has to be done to create the perfect website for your business. So just pack some patience and take a few deep breaths. If you keep all this in mind, everything else will fall into place. So that's it for today. What questions do you have about what you need for your new website? Be sure to leave them all down in the comments section below. If you're looking to get started on creating a website for your business right now, check out one of the Small Business Website Starter Kit. You'll get a website built using WordPress with a design to match your business 
that will give you a great digital foundation that can help your business grow. And your website will be live in less than two weeks and for a price that will fit your budget. Check out the Small Business Website Starter Kit at the link down in the description below. Next week, we'll start to discuss the content for your website and what you might need before you start to plan the website. To see that video and the rest of the videos in the series, as well as more videos on WordPress, digital marketing, web design, e-commerce, and other website related topics, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the ring the bell for notifications. But until then, I wish you and your business the best of luck.